I'm really beginning to wonder how many hours of walking we pay for and how many hours of smoking and phone calls we pay for. I'm just waiting right now on, um, on someone and just an inordinate amount of just state workers have been walking by just smoking on the phone, chatting, getting paid, enjoying the spring sunshine. It's all these little private nooks and crannies to be in. It's kind of nice and private, nice little <clears throat> sort of resorty, little North Korea resorty place to chit chat back there, Let's have a little smoke. In the Versailles Palace. Back into the secret, little secret ID world of the state. Nobody can know. It's all secrets up there. Super secrets. Okay, so was it a couple days ago? Um, I was talking about having a press. It was called Malama Lama Press. And one of our books was called Nastaka, and it was about an oil spill. And it covered... A lot of things. The best part was it covered how to clean birds correctly. Um, but the there was a case called the Intertanko case where um, double-hulled ships were not somehow forced. They didn't force double-hulled ships to be made, which would keep oil spills from happening. But, of course, the ship costs more to make, and... So somebody fought it, and they were able to make it so they can still have flimsy ships at sea. So the Attorney General's office somehow found out about our book, and we had a request. And I took the book over, and a door opened, and a hairy palm slipped out and snatched the book from my hand. I never saw the person's face. And that was the extent of, of my interaction with the attorney general's office. It was so creepy. I, yeah, it was all, you know, dressed up and, you know, well, you know, there's, um, interest in, in our book or whatever. This is so good. Um, the author of it had been a bailiff for the Supreme Court here in Washington, and he'd been the editor of the Aberdeen uh, paper in in Aberdeen, where Kurt Cobain country. Um, and anyway, help. Gotta go. Bye.